Hey guys, my name is Winden, and in today's video I will show you how to choose your main champion for ADC role. I've been playing League for about 5 years or even more. I'm not an ADC god, but over these years I've learned every champion in my role in order to understand their strengths and weaknesses. That is why I will share my experience with you guys. As I know there are a lot of players out there struggling in climbing their elo cause they don't really have their main. Again, I point out this a lot in my videos. Having man champion on your role is key if you aim to climb your rank high and fast. By the way, this video will help you choose your main champion for ADC role, but honestly there is little difference in choosing your main for other roles too. Just use the same pattern I will show you in this video and you're good to go. Alright, before I move straight to each champion, you have to know that there are two types of AD carries in League, Kiters and Ability Casters. As simple as it sounds, there are two main categories how AD carries works in League. Kiters like Kaelin, Jinx, Tristana relies heavily on their ability to kite more than on using their abilities, especially during late game. The same stuff is reversed for casters like Azrael, Lucian or Misfortune. These guys rely more on their abilities throughout the whole game, usually have lower auto attack range and building not traditional crit build like other ADC do. You may ask how this info can help you be a better player and win more games. Let's imagine you are a mid lane main and you get auto filled on ADC role, what champion you will go with? Most mid lane champions are high skill reliant mages with a tons of skill shots, so the best champion to pick in this scenario will be Azrael. Due to how similar Azrael compared to mid laners, you definitely will have higher chances winning game using your strong sides and mid lane experience for a similar champion in bot lane. The same concept can be applied to any other role, regardless of your main one. Of course it all comes down to personal preference, cause everyone has their own favorites, so you probably get the idea behind this point already. Let's go even deeper then. Now I will shortly go over with every traditional marksman in the game and point out their main features. So the first one will be Varus. This hyper carry has strong early game, good range and relies heavy on kiting, especially during late game. He has an awesome root ultimate to save your ass or engage in a team fight. But due to no escape tools requires awesome positioning and peel from teammates. Vayne, one of if not the strongest late game hyper carry beast and the best AD carry duelist at the same time. Her playstyle requires good positioning and not fit for low elo players. She has weak lane in phase and low auto range, but compensate with a decent mid and a perfect late game. She is also a tank shredder, an easy champ to go for 1v9. Jin, great lane bully with a ton of burst, relies heavy on abilities, especially during early game, and fit to be played in any elo as in my opinion, he's one of the easiest AD carry in the game with possible consistent performance. He's good throughout the whole game and can one shot squishes when on full build. Has no escape tools once again, so treat positioning accordingly. Jinx, another hyper carry beast that struggles early, but shines in late game. Good champ for low elo players due to how easy she can snowball and carry teamfights with her passive. Has awesome AoE and range with her rockets, but again lacks survivability and a poor duelist by nature, and require good kiting mechanics. So the next one is special cause it's Draven! This one is definitely not AD carry, but an early game killing machine and the ultimate lane dominator. Awesome duelist and strong burst make him an awesome champion for any elo, but the best dravens out there who can farm well without dying can use his passive to its max potential, snowballing the hell out of control. Kai'Sa is a fine laner with low auto range and has a lot of tools in her kit. She is super flexible when it comes for builds, as she can be pure magic or pure physical damage or even hybrid. She is also more ability reliant early game like Ezreal and scales super well into late game. She is a decent duelist and her ultimate makes her the best AD carry to find and eliminate wandering targets. No wonder why she is so popular and strong as ADC during last season. Kalista, Super underrated early beast and late game horror. Designed to win any lane level 1 if played right, relies heavily on peel and cooperation with support due to her unique passive. Sometimes she can be a kiting god and sometimes be a food for Zed or Talon in enemy team. 
She has awesome late game, but requires a ton of consistency with her kiting, with her passive and stacks management, and positioning on top. One of the main strengths is that not many players know how to play against her. Caitlyn is all about lane bully. If there is one real comparison, think of her as a bot lane Riven. She's designed for early game and should be played around it. Fall super bad into mid game and have a fine late game. Superior range is your strongest weapon, and unique trap mechanics which is hard to pull off properly makes her always a good choice for higher elo players out there. Relies heavily on kiting and demands precision with your actions. Kog'Maw Another hyper carry Pokemon with enormous DPS in his back. One of the best tank trader in the game. Has close to weak laning phase due to how easy he is dying with bad positioning. Requires a freaking ton of pill to be efficient. Mixed AP and AD will make your damage always consistent, but this champ is no joke when it comes to kiting, as you have to be literally better than Uzi to pull off this ADC to its max potential. Lucian Good late dominator and a great close combat AD carry. Awesome duelist. Relies heavily on both using abilities and kiting at the same time. Low range but high close range impact make him a keen in all lanes and short trades. He falls off hard as the game goes on, so that AD carry is probably not a good choice for a random silver player. Misfortune This girl has everything you need to win your lane and has a big ulti for her teamfights. Additional movement speed will help you with better positioning and ability reliant heavy burst kit is easy to pull off in any elo. Senna New ADC support with enormous range and healing capabilities, an awesome global ultimate to save teammates or finish low HP targets. Decent CC and healing will make any lane phase easy to survive. Scaling feature will make you viable in any long run. She has weak wave clearing and she is a poor duelist by nature, so treat her positioning accordingly. Silver, the ultimate wave clear champ with one of the best survivability among all AD carries. Her ultimate is just a cherry on top as a movement speed steroid for the whole team and a perfect AoE damage in the late game with her W and Q. Twitch is a sneaky hyper carry, with a scary ultimate that can vanish the whole enemy team in just a matter of seconds. Weak laning phase and no escape tools will force you to make no mistake while playing him. Tristana Another great late game carry with a decent wave clear and good tower pushing potential. She is awesome at crazy all-ins after level 2, and her W makes her playstyle sometimes go wild in the team fights. Xaya Another golden pick for previous season. Weaker laning phase compensated with crazy late game potential. She is good for spacing people with her W, kinda good duelist and just a safe AD carry to play slash farm throughout the whole game. Ash. Awesome range and global ultimate and a scout bird on top make her one of the most tactical AD carry to play. Let's add to this perma slow with every auto and ability and you get perfect AD carry that become even stronger the better you interact with your team. And the good old legendary Ezreal. This guy has everything you need to be the AD carry. Your Q will grant you safe laning phase every game and your E is a free flash with 25 second cooldown. He's generally good no matter the state of the game, patches, matchups and etc. Lies heavy on landing skill shots. Here is it guys, I went over all traditional AD carries and tried to focus mostly on each strength and unique features. Now it's your turn to choose the right champ in your games. If you like this video hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always I have a question for you guys, especially for those of you who are not ADC main. Do you get to know something new from this one? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.